we are still taking and loving life taking time out with our prius whether you are cruising by automobile or motorcycle the ohio river scenic byway is the perfect ride with exceptional river views breathtaking hills and lush forest valleys connected by curvy routes dotted with charming river towns ideal road stops with fabulous local food and interesting things to do while the entire national byway spans 943 miles continuing west into indiana and illinois nearly half of the journey or 452 miles borders the great state of Ohio with near constant views of the mighty Ohio River. Rome is a village in Green Township, Adams County, Ohio, United States, along the Ohio River. The population was 94 at the 2010 census. Manchester, Ohio. Massey Station was the first permanent white settlement within the Virginia Military District, built along the Ohio River in 1790. It was built near three islands which Native Americans used to attack settlers traveling down the Ohio River. Numerous settlers lost their lives in these attacks. The community was named after Nathaniel Massey, a land speculator who helped survey the Virginia military district. Massey offered 19 men property if they would settle in the town. He used the settlement as a base for his survey work in the district. In 1791, Massey's station became known as Manchester, Ohio. Massey named the community after Manchester, England. It was the fourth permanent settlement established in the Northwest Territory. By 1791, residents had completely encircled the community with a stockade to provide protection from Native Americans. This was the last town in what would become Ohio to be enclosed by fortifications. Manchester served as the county seat for Adams County from 1797 to 1803, when residents moved the local government to West Union. Located on the Ohio River across from the slave-holding state of Kentucky, Manchester proved an important community along the Underground Railroad. African-American slaves hoping for freedom in the North commonly found aid among the town's residents during the first part of the 19th century. The town also prospered during this time period as a stop for steamboats as they traveled along the Ohio River between Portsmouth and Cincinnati. Most industries in the community were affiliated with agriculture. During the 19th century, a tobacco warehouse, pork processing company, a buggy manufacturer, a mill, and a nursery operated in Manchester for varying lengths of time. By the 1840s, Manchester had become the largest town in Adams County. J.M. Stewart Station was a 2.3 gigawatt, 2,318 MW coal power plant located east of Aberdeen, Ohio in Adams County. Ohio. 
The power plant had four units and was operated by AES Ohio Generation, a subsidiary of the AES Corporation. It began operations in 1970 and ceased on May 24, 2018. The Simon Kent Memorial Bridge is a suspension bridge built in 1931 that carries U.S. Route 62 across the Ohio River to connect Maysville, Kentucky with Aberdeen, Ohio. Its main span is 1,060 feet, 320 meters, long, and the total length of the bridge is 1,991 feet, 607 meters. The bridge was designed by Majeski and Masters and was opened to traffic on November 25, 1931. Tolls were collected from the opening of the bridge until 1945. Maysville, Kentucky Maysville, the seat of Mason County, is at the confluence of Limestone Creek and the Ohio River. Settlement began in the 1780s and the site was initially known as Limestone, named for the creek. The town was formed in 1787 and named Maysville for John May, surveyor, clerk, and landowner in the area. The post office opened in 1794 as Limestone and was renamed Maysville about 1799. Both names Maysville Flood Wall Mural Project began in the summer of 1998. The early river history of Maysville has been created on the flood wall by artist Robert Dafford of Dafford Murals from Lafayette, Louisiana. Murals on the flood wall serve several purposes providing a way to showcase the history of the town, beautify the flood wall and promote tourism. depicts a later period in the 1800s when paddle boats cruised up and down the Ohio River, connecting Maysville to distant towns and giving birth to a thriving economy as goods and people traveled up and downstream. Russell Theater is a building in Maysville, Kentucky that was originally intended as a movie theater but has since been adapted for other uses. Construction of the Russell Theater was announced by Maysville businessman Carl J. Russell Barber in 1928. The structure costing $125,000 opened on December 4, 1930 with a showing of the movie Whoopi. Starring Eddie Cantor. Maysville is a waterfront town, and Limestone Landing is a great place to enjoy the beauty of the river. From the flood wall gate a tunnel goes underneath the train tracks to the river, and hundreds of clay tiles line the tunnel walls each one imprinted with a child's hand. This very cool Riverside artwork was a school project in the mid-1990s.
company formed once, Simon Kenton proposed to General Charles Scott that a volunteer company of spies, scouts, be selected and trained to protect pioneer settlements. They were called out for short-term duty and became known for their daring successes against Indians. Early dwellers and visitors hunted bison, deer, and other game in northeast Kentucky. Here, hunters take advantage of icy conditions at the shallow winter Ohio River crossing to kill their prey. The bison, or buffaloes, ambling toward the Blue Lick Salt Springs, created a trace, a roadway, now called Buffalo Trace, that follows US 68 Southwest. The Corps of Discovery was a specially established unit of the United States Army which formed the nucleus of the Lewis and Clark expedition that took place between May 1804 and September 1806. The corps was led jointly by Captain Mary Weather Lewis and 2nd Lieutenant William Clark. Commissioned by President Thomas Jefferson, the Corps objectives were scientific and commercial to study the area's plants, animal life, and geography, and to learn how the Louisiana Purchase could be exploited economically. Tecumseh was born in 1768 and died in 1813. He was known as a famous warrior and a powerful force within the Shawnee tribe and along the banks of the Ohio River. Simon Kenton was a famed frontiersman and soldier that traveled between Virginia, Kentucky, and Ohio. He was born in 1755 and died 1836. In 1778, Kenton was captured by the Shawnee Native Americans. He ran in numerous Shawnee gauntlets and was, at one point, severely wounded during a Shawnee ritual. Simon Gertie, a friend of Kenton, convinced the Shawnees to adopt him as one of their own. The Shawnees respected Kenton for his endurance and named him Katahotha, which meant the condemned man, and later he became known to the Shawnee as the Great White Wolf. This bridge is one of the few surviving historic suspension bridges on the Ohio River. The graceful structure is a beautiful iconic landmark for the area. The bridge is also significant as a bridge designed by famous engineering firm Majeski and Masters. The steel towers with bracing consisting of a very large pattern of X's is a feature found among a number of suspension bridges that Majeski and Masters were involved with. North Pole Bridge crosses Eagle Creek. Originally built in 1865 at 169.5 feet long, it underwent significant repairs after a damaging flood in 1997. It had a twin a little ways down the creek on SR 763, but that was washed away in the same flooding that damaged this bridge. North Pole is closed to car traffic. Located on US 68, one mile north of Ripley on North Polo Road CR-15.
county lies on the south line of the state of Ohio. Its south border abuts the north border of the state of Kentucky across the Ohio River. The Ohio flows westward along the county's south line. White Oak Creek flows southward through the lower part of southwest Brown County, discharging into the Ohio at Higginsport. Straight Creek flows southwestward through the lower central part of the county, discharging into the Ohio two miles, three kilometers east of Higginsport. Eagle Creek flows southerly through the lower eastern part of the county, discharging into the Ohio east of Ripley. The East Fork of the Little Miami River flows southwestward through the upper part of the county, entering Clermont County near Marathon. County, on the northern border, is mostly flat and primarily grain. The south border is the Ohio River, and the southern part of the county is rolling to hilly. This part of the county is where most of the tobacco and grapes are grown, along with the majority of the beef production. Soybeans have become the biggest cash crop with the decline in tobacco production. Adams County is a rural area, located approximately 50 miles east of Cincinnati along the Ohio River. It consists of 625 square miles of land. West Union is the county seat and it is the largest town in the county. Approximately 80% of the residents find employment in service industries. These industries include medical care, utilities, and communications. Just over 7% of the population is engaged in agriculture, and especially in dairy farming.
Williams County is one of the poorest counties in Ohio. Many residents describe the county as the edge of Appalachia. March 24th, 1803, the state of Ohio authorized the creation of Scioto County. Residents took the county's name from a Native American word referring to the deer that were plentiful in the area. Located at the intersection of the Ohio River and the Scioto River, the county grew quickly because of increasing river traffic. Scioto County is part of Appalachia and is predominantly rural, with 1.6% of the county's 612 square miles consisting of urban areas. Service industries and retail businesses are the largest employers in Scioto County. Many county residents are employed in government, farming, and manufacturing.
Shawnee State Forest, also known as Ohio's Little Smokies, is a state forest in the U.S. state of Ohio. It is located in western Scioto County and eastern Adams County and encompasses 63,747 acres, 25,797 ha, of woodland. It is the largest state forest in Ohio. Once inhabited by the Shawnee Indians, Shawnee State Forest came into existence in 1922 with the purchase of 5,000 acres of land which had been cut over for timber and ravaged by fire. During that same year, land acquisition was begun for the Theodore Roosevelt Game Preserve. In the 1930s, six civilian conservation corps camps were located in the forest. During this period, many of the roads were constructed in the then nearly inaccessible area. Many other accomplishments resulted, including five small lakes that were built to serve as water supplies for the camps. Following the creation of the Department of Natural Resources in 1949, the recreational facilities at Roosevelt Lake were transferred to the Division of Parks. The Roosevelt Game Preserve, by a 1951 agreement between the Division of Forestry and Wildlife, became a part of the forest. Shawnee State Forest, also called the Little Smokies of Ohio has developed into the largest of the 20 state forests with over 60,000 acres. While the forest is a fantastic recreation feature in Southern Ohio, you should not be surprised to see other activities occurring. The forest is a working forest. It is managed to provide a variety of multiple uses on a sustained yield basis. Timber harvesting, tree planting, wildlife habitat, forestry research, watershed and soil protection, and production of tree seeds are all in a day's work for forest employees and many local residents. During the spring and fall forest fire danger periods, state forest crews detect and suppress wildfires that occur on state and private lands within the surrounding protection area. Nearly 8,000 acres of the forest have been designated as wilderness. This minims its human influence and allows the land to return to a natural condition. Timber management activities and public motorized travel have been eliminated in the area. In the mid-negative 1800s and early 1900s, 
building stone was quarried from vast iron and cabbage patch hollows. The stone was moved by railroad to the Ohio River and loaded on barges. Much of the stone was used in the construction of buildings in Cincinnati. Johnny's size, ruggedness and opportunities for solitude are unparalleled in Ohio, making the forests a special place to visit. The seemingly endless trees comprise Ohio's largest contiguous forest, and home for a large number of animal species including bobcat, black bear and timber rattlesnakes a great number of bird species and many rare and endangered plants. Ohio's only designated wilderness area. in the forest represent some of Ohio's highest. Terrain relief commonly reaches 400 feet and exceeds 600 feet in some areas, especially in the southwest quadrant. Average ridge top elevations peak between 1100 to 1200 feet above sea level with a few high points breaking the 1300 foot contour. The normal pool elevation of the Ohio River represents the lowest elevation in the region and averages 500 feet above sea level. A variety of vegetation grows in Shawnee State Forest. Several species of oaks and hickories grace the ridges alongside sassafras and native pitch and shortleaf pines. On the mid-slopes, Expect to find oaks and hickories in addition to maple, basswood, yellow poplar, buckeye, black gum, ash, elm, hackberry and aspen, sweet gum, beech, black cherry, black walnut, sycamore, birch and butternut can be found in bottom land areas. Hemlocks can be found thriving in narrow, cooler valleys.
We are still taking and loving life. Taking time out with our Prius.